Since the pandemic began, I don't have to tell you, we've done story after story after story about businesses that have had to shut their doors for good. And that's not the case for one local hat maker who's actually opening a new door. Here's Doug Meehan with tonight's Made a Mess. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I really like that. It was back in April of 2018 when we first met Ashley Clark. The owner of Sonye was just a year and a half into following her dream of becoming a hat maker to the stars. A lot of the times my clients, they want to be the woman that everybody is talking about. Jump forward more than two years, the stars are aligning and people are starting to talk about her. We actually got the keys four days ago. <laughs> Only hours before Ashley officially opened the doors to her first ever brick and mortar store on Newbury Street, this former law student and NFL cheerleader showed us around her dream that has become a reality. This is where it started, and this is our this was our derby collection for spring season 2020. Some may say opening a store during the second wave of a pandemic would be risky business. Just one look around this Tony neighborhood, and the evidence of COVID's impact is everywhere. But Ashley thinks just the opposite. Oh, I see things in my everyday life that inspire me to create. Where others have failed, she sees opportunity for success. Newberry Street will come back. It will revive itself. And I decided to come in because fortunately, the blessing side of COVID was that the rent became affordable. Much of her confidence may come from her desire to constantly be moving forward. During the spring lockdown, Ashley sprung into action. These are all handmade feathers. Those are made out of feathers. They are, and they're hand-painted to look like butterflies. For months, she was busy inside her Boston apartment hand-making most of the inventory that now stocks the shelves of Sonye. This is patent pending. Feel this, it's memory foam. So it's lightweight and sits and floats on the head. As part of her plan for success, she made a pivot beyond the hats, all because of the pandemic. So, yeah, we really jumped into these different avenues, and a lot of that's due to COVID. Ashley's hopeful that others will be willing to take the leap back into those open storefronts that are currently available. Being an optimist, she says the city needs to thrive, not just survive. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, News Center 5.